Thought I'd be able to join me brigade leader. I was beginning to think you're taking the evening off. Highly amusing, Dr. Weasel. I followed you through the portal thingy as soon as I could. Didn't see much point standing around with that bizarre version of Advic. So, what kind of alien hellhole are we in? Well, if you'd open your eyes, I think you might be able to answer that for yourself. Quite. And uh, for the record, I've not got my eyes shut in terror. Far from it. I am just uh, practicing. Yes, uh, practicing in case I need to be utterly terrified one day. Tell me, honestly, are we in Baron Frankenstein's castle or a zombie hospital run by cats? Oh, or even worse, run by one of my aunt's cats. They never liked me. Brave heart, brigade leader. Open those peepers. You'll see it's nothing like any of those. Although, I'm not 100% sure what it is like. Very informative, as per usual, Doctor. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> smells a whole lot better than the zoo, what? <laughs> yes, lightly fragrance there. <laughs> hmm, I'm picking species from across the galaxy, affluent and somewhat superfluous middle-class ones, too. Accountants, PR consultants, primary school teachers, and, uh, yes, a steaming pile of bankers. That's all very well and good, Doctor, but where are we? Probably the most horrific place in the whole universe. I think we're in a centre parks. Intergalactic time traveller and problem solver from beyond the stars, Dr. Weasel, an understudy companion, Entity's brigade leader, are hot on the trail of missing animals and alien invaders in Dr. Weasel and the Zoo Gone Incursion, Part 2. Central Park? Isn't that in Manhattan? What? Oh, the wrong letter, so I forget you're from the early 1970s. Center Parks is... Imagine taking a holiday in a forest inside an over-large greenhouse with uh, about a hundred other families. Ah, I see. A leisure complex. A bit like Butlins, with more foliage and a bit of closet punter, then. Now you're getting it. Oh, well, given that dome above us, I think we're in space. Hmm. Is that a sign? What does it say? I can't make out the lingo. Is it French? French? Wow, even Abbe could do better. This is a written language based, if I don't miss my guess, on the pictograms of the Delta High Ranger system. Very clever, Doctor. But I'd remind you that you work for Entity as our scientific advisor. Unless you want me to slash your tea and biscuit budget, how about you break out some of that advanced knowledge and tell me what it actually says? Keep a tash on, Briggy. It reads, Welcome to Relaxo Cabins, a luxury getaway far from the frantic galactic core, where over 10,000 deluxe apartment pods will fulfil your personal desires like never before. Why am I only just hearing about this place? Well, none of that answers where the missing zoo animals went. What happened to our mutual friend Edvik? I wouldn't go so far as to call him a friend, but yes, unless I miss my guess, we're in the Pastari Sector, in orbit around Radcliffio 7, home to the Radcliffians, one of the galaxy's most advanced races. Not exactly the Time Weasels, but they laughed themselves silly looking at Earth. Did you know they invented the lab coat before the wheel? Yes, Doctor, but what does a planet full of boffins want with a zoo? Moreover, why are they running a holiday camp? Why to win, of course? Do it again! You spoke without moving your lips, Briggy. Me? I thought that was you. Welcome to Relax the Cabins, gentle being. May your visit bring you everything you need, desire, and deserve. Thanks! Now, who am I talking to so abstractly? I don't like chit-chatting with people I can't look in the eye. Oh, gives me the collywobbles. I am Relaxo Cabin. What? All of them? Well, that's clever. I am an 11th level transient sentience array. I was initialized the day Relaxo Cabins was initiated as the galaxy's premier leisure complex. I am designed to greet and ensure all visitors are thoroughly chillaxed. Chillaxed? That sounds very much like a Veruca preparation. Doctor, is this thing speaking English? I thought you said we were in space somewhere. No, no, it's speaking the Radcliffican. I'm just telepathically translating it. It's just one of my many time weasel talents. Dashed useful. So, why can't I read the language? Ah, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm not that talented? Oh, Roblox. 
What is it, Doctor? I just remembered something about the Lexo cabins. When it came online, there was a problem. A big problem, wasn't there? Oi, loudspeaker thingy, I'm talking to you. Correct, Dr. Weasel. It was not a problem for which my designers had accounted. Yes, which explains why this vacation installation appears utterly deserted of tourists. Well, I don't understand at all, and I'm getting dashed cheesed off with being kept in the dark. Where is everyone, and where are those blasted zoo animals? It was all down to the most evil of inventions, public relations. One of the neighbouring system, Zazadome 12, had their own leisure domes. They didn't fancy competing with the Reclificans, so their government ran a smear campaign, putting about in the daily email that Relaxo Cabins was infested with Mulfasa space plague. I assume this scared off Relaxo Cabins' clients. Opening day must have been a washout. Regrettably correct, Brigade Leader. Thankfully, the Radcliffian Science Conclave rapidly put in place a plan to eliminate the negative publicity. They built portals and removed selected vacationers from across the universe. Right. Kidnap a few holidaymakers, replace them with cheap clones like that bizarro advic, and hey presto, you've got a park full of happy vacationing peeps. But I'm guessing something went wrong, meaning you'll need me to work my old time whistle magic, right? Correct. We had only transported a few individuals, such as your associate, Advic Goose, when the scientific conclave concluded that they had been looking at this the wrong way. Whatever does this squawk box mean, Doctor? Why should we clone holiday makers to amend public perceptions when we could duplicate the best of them as an army of unstoppable duplicates. Duplicates whose minds will have been correctly formatted to serve the Radcliffians' desires for revenge on Zarazon 12. Ah! The palm trees! They're alive! Well, yeah, yes, I know trees are alive, but they're more motile than I expect for a bunch of plants. But from those Genevian daffodils, eh, Doctor? No one likes a smart-ass brigade leader. Palm guards... Escort Dr. Weasel to the lower levels. Leave him alone. Take me. Why would we want clones of pitiful soldiers like you? When with an army of Time Weasel clones, we could rule the entire galaxy. Dr. Weasel will be our template for terror. Our army of vengeance. Hmm. Holiday industry is far more than I expected. Clonomatic 3000 activating. Preparing for genetic material extraction. That's the machine you're planning to strap me down to? Frankly, it looks and, and sounds pretty naff. Did you order it from eBay? Your attempts at humour are immaterial. We only require a blood sample. Mm, just a tiny paper trick, then. Ah, oh, why doesn't it push your audience when you need one? Once we have your genetic code, then the universe will beat a path to relaxo cabins. Really? Maybe a new marketing strategy will be simpler. You mean, like, we'll kidnap you for a holiday of a lifetime? Oh, hello, Briggy. You're here too, then? Silence, Organics. Your incessant babbling is not constructive, nor is it conductive to my continued peak efficiency. Palm Guards, secure the reserve specimen. He may yet be of some limited value. Well done, Dr. Weasel. I think you're getting to him. If I could just reach my service revolver, I'd give these bothersome plants a taste of British steel. Well... British lead, anyway. No, wait. I think we should give it what it wants. Dr. Weasel, snap out of it. It's got you under mind control. Far from it. Uh, Oi, relaxo muck relaxo face. I'm surrendering. A wise decision, Time Weasel. And be warned, I am programmed to anticipate any trickery. Whatever you've got up your sleeve, Dr. Weasel, is a better work. My dear brigade leader, I rarely enter a battle of wits without being at least half prepared. Is it too late for me to pop back through that portal? Will Dr. Weasel truly keep his wits about him? Will the brigade leader resort to three rounds rapid? Or will Relaxo Cabin's army of clone Weasels conquer the galaxy? Find out the answer to half of these questions in the Zoogon Incursion, part three. Dr. Weasel is a Weasel Temple Enterprise production from the script outlined by Elliot Stewart. Fishing Randolph Weasley is Dr. Weasel, coating Goose and Big Goose, talking out the goals of the brigade leader, and Mike Talks, and Relaxo Cabins.